Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the interloper here. I've come to hear a lovely concert, and I can't wait. Um, but I did just want to, since I am here, to tell you about our next season. You've seen our lovely brochure. If I can just take you quickly through it. Um, we are thrilled to be starting our season with two of the mar most marvelous 18th century choral works by two of our pillar composers, Bach and Mozart. Um, the Bach Magnificat and the Mozart Requiem. As one is about birth and the other is about death, really, and yet they're both incredibly positive works. And we will do it here for you in Skokie, uh, but we'll also be doing it in Symphony Center in uh, Chicago. So we, we've grown up a bit. Um, we were there two years ago with uh, uh, the Chevalier, as you may know, and we're so excited to be going back there. After that, Nicholas, it's your turn for the Italian. So, viva Vivaldi. I mean, what a treat to be doing a whole program of Vivaldi. Who was it that said that Vivaldi wrote 500 concertos, or the same concerto 500 times? Stravinsky. <laughs> Stravinsky. Stravinsky. I don't agree. Um, strangely enough. But, um, but there's some very familiar stuff here. I mean, actually, the Gloria in D is probably the only really familiar piece. Um, and what a great work that is. The, and the, as far as I know, Vivaldi didn't write a full mass. And the Kyrie uh, and the Credo are just one-offs. They're just separate. And then the Gloria, of course, is... So they don't actually join or belong together but they are, particularly the Kyrie, you know, very remarkable pieces. And the Kyrie has an, a sort of association, or rather similarity, with the Symphonia al Santo Sepulcro, so another religious but string piece without voices. Um, anyway, do come to that. That's going to be so great. Um, our third... Uh, promotion is uh, called rather naughtily called Windy City. It's a, it's a, it was a very clever joke of one of somebody in the office. I thought this was brilliant, uh, but uh, we um, do make a habit, as I think you know, of uh, asking our fabulous principals to step out and and be soloists from time to time. And so two of ours, uh, our principal Horn Otto Carrillo and our principal bassoon William Buchmann. Uh, will be stepping out. Now, they're not actually here tonight because they are on mooty duty. Uh, but I expect Declan will borrow that tomorrow night. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, uh, Bill will play the Hummel uh, bassoon concerto, fabulous. Hummel, of course, being a, 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 a tiny pupil of Mozart's at one point and uh, or, um, Otto will play one of the amazing horn concertos that Mozart wrote, which sort of changed the whole genre. Um, and uh, in, in that it's, we've called it Windy City, we had to do something that reflected the water, so I'm afraid we're doing another of the water music suites as well. And there are other delights in that program. After that, we, our, our holiday brass and choral are absolutely fabulous. Uh, annual thing which everybody loves so much. Book early, my friends, because their last lot sold out completely. Um, and these will be conducted by um, Andrew McGill, a wonderful new chorus director. Um, I'm thrilled to say that uh, he loves us as much as we love him. And he's moving to Chicago because he's just been appointed um, a director of choral organizations at Northwestern. So we're very excited about that. And in January, um, we have uh, a guest, a guest conductor and an amazing guest soloist, Victoria Mulova, will play, come to play one of the Bach uh, concertos, in fact, possibly two, uh, yes, two of them, uh, with uh, Jonathan Cohen, who's, a, I'm afraid, another Brit, but um, <laughs> he's a brilliant Baroque musician and uh, has indeed just been appointed as music director of Handel and Haydn Society in Boston. So we'll be having an increasing presence over on the side of the Atlantic as well. And he's doing a lovely program of French music with these um, 
two concertos of Bach and uh, uh, the wonderful Mulava. And then at Easter next year, following on from our St. Matthew this year, we're doing the St. John Passion. And uh, it's not only a sort of culmination of us doing the big choral works of, of uh, Bach and indeed recording them, which we are, um, it's particularly uh, appropriate that we do the St. John in 24, because he wrote it in 1724. <laughs> um, so we will be celebrating its tercentenary. Um, and uh, we have a wonderful lineup of soloists for that, as we do, by the way, for the Mozart and the Bach, in, um, which I neglected to point out, but they are a, a great array of soloists. Um, and then I think it's back to you, Nicholas, for your menagerie. Yes, what a strange title this is, Birds, Frogs, Crickets and Dogs. <laughs> um, almost rhymes as well. That's another uh, invention of, from the office. Excellent. Um, and. For once, I think, I will be doing uh, three works in a concert that I won't have performed before. You know, I'm getting too old for this. Um, so the Telemann's Cricket Symphony, which has nothing to do with the English game with bat and ball, I'd have to say, um, and the Vivaldi Flute Concerto played by our principal uh, flautist, who is not on stage at the moment, but we wish she will be Mary Stolper. And, and then the Frog's Violin Concerto. Well, I have heard it, but I've never actually conducted it, and it's, it's an extraordinary piece. And then Haydn comes up with an absolute trump card, you know, high, um, the hen. And, you know, it doesn't like a, sound like a hen all the way through, I can promise you that. It's just, it, there's, a, there's a, a quote in the first movement, and I'm sure you recognize it. Anyway. It does cluck. It does cluck. <laughs> Clucks away, yes. yes. And uh, our final uh, set of concerts is actually conducted by uh, another guest, um, uh, Patrick Dupree Quigley, whom you've got to know over the last few years, who's actually doing what, what I think he does best. He's doing his fabulous uh, sacred choral music in churches. So he will do uh, the um, Allegri Miserere and um, Handel's Dixit Dominus. And this is, uh, again, a little bit of a, of a leftover from concerts we planned and lost during the COVID period. Um, but it's going to be in such good hands with our wonderful chorus to do these great uh, choral works with some orchestral music as well, the first suite of Bach. Bach does tend to pop up and we, we uh, never let him um, not do that. <laughs> Um, and some Purcell as well, who, because I know you've got a whole program of London music now, but there isn't so much next year until Purcell. So um, that is our season, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it just remains for us to thank you, our supporters, for uh, your um, fabulous attendance. Look at this great audience. Mm. And um, it's wonderful to see you all here. And thank you for your support. Do buy your tickets and we'll do our best. And now I'm going to go to London. <laughs> <laughs>